Welcome back, everybody, to the Collegiate Aces Series, brought to you by Philly Esports. My name is Arbiter, and right next to me is my go who needs no introduction, but he's going to introduce himself anyways. How you doing, homie? How you doing? Uh, fine, Arbiter. I'm doing fine. Hey, everyone. It's Tenrec. Coming to you live with this Collegiate Aces Series week. I want to say seven at this point. Man, time really flies. we doing it for a minute. This yeah. much fun. Yeah, it's, it's been a hot minute. Man. Arbiter has out, has been out here on fire recently in the in the Twitter scape. You're up to what, like 6K followers right now, man? No, I have two. Uh, let's not two? talk about that. I have I have uh, I have two. I got my account suspended. But who cares about Project? that? We have, oh no! <laughs> we have no a godlike series. <laughs> no, that'd be a good thing for everybody. Trust me. But guys, we have a great series going on today. We have some great matches. It's gonna be a long night, but hey. We're here for the long run. And Tenric, who are we going to see first? What's the game Yo, plan here today? I got to tell yeah. I'm staying nice and chill. You know, I'm repping my school because I ran out of clothes. And, cool. you know, I, I got to stay chill. I got my dinner ready. I'm set. I'm locked in. And Western Colorado University also needs to be cooled down and locked in because we're about to see two consecutive crew battles played by them, starting off against Benedictine wow. and then going up against Montgomery right after that. So two really tough matchups to start, uh, to start the night off with both with Western Colorado at the helm, should be a great start to tonight. I'm really pumped. Excuse me, I'm really pumped. That piece of gold crazy, but no, I am too. And the fact that I gotta play two crew no. battles back to back, that's gonna be a struggle, but if anyone can do it, I believe it can be them, right? And plus, when you have that much momentum on your side, especially while doing two CBs, you, you can't help but to feel, you know, like, okay, we know what we did wrong. Let's see what we can do for the next crew battle. Or if it works, we can just say, oh, let's do that again because it, it ended up working before. So let's see how these strategies come together because right now we're going to have a cannon crew battle right now with Fox, oh, not Fox, Falco versus Wolf. Gamma Gold representing Benedictine for this first player. He's been he's played nothing but Steve, actually, this entire Aces series, mixing it up with a Spacey all of his own. Meanwhile, Rich on perennial Pokemon trainer in the crew battle scene so far. Picking up that Falco today. So couple different players, couple different characters to start things off for the day. And I I, I can't think of a better way to say, hey, all these guys, they're constantly adapting, constantly changing, always getting better. And every single time you come here on a Wednesday, it's gonna be an unpredictable and unforgettable night. Ooh! But I'll tell you one thing, nothing unpredictable about that down smash. He's gonna take out Falco, who is a light character, but good read off it. We'll get up, uh, the, you know, the jump, gonna get that four smash, and now, it's gonna be an even clue battle. And no, oh, like you were. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Let's get that double double from McDonald's. Oh. Gonna get that spin to win. Have the laser gonna stop all that momentum in the air. Good stuff coming on to your boy, uh, Rick John. And no, so. Oh, get that forward, bro. Ooh, hey, 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 hey! Hey! Are you dead? There is no. Nothing for you. Wipe him down, smash. Okay, if he went for a nair, that could have been so good for him. But I love how Gamma Gold just took away low key all of Rick John's options in neutral, having to rely on that Uppy, which is really slow. And as he doesn't go that far, despite him being a bird, but this stuff gonna go for the edge guard. You know, I don't think this comeback happened. I gotta be able to the edge guard Wolf. Hey, how strange of a matchup is this, right? Wolf versus the Falco. You know, they're both in the same lore and yet at the same time their play styles cannot be any different falco relying on those tilts and aerials to keep that control constant and that pressure all, all, always around on these platforms meanwhile wolf goes for those power stances gets some lower combos uh altitude wise and then trying to go for that pressure on top of that ledge both very different play styles and, and both of them have really been prevailing so far wolf still a little bit behind though gamma gold Playing catcher for the moment needs to find that one killing blow, and sometimes that can be a little tough to do against someone as slippery as Falco. Especially, especially as that's one like Falco. Like you said, Falco is hard to deal with for a lot of characters. Good up there though, He's gonna mm -hmm. catch the jump. That's not a move you see kill a lot, but it does do the jump. But no, like you were saying, Falco's such a dangerous character to fight against, especially in this meta, right? Where Ultimate's meta is all about when you hit someone, you should either be killing them or doing as much damage as possible. And Falco can definitely do that if you are not careful, right? Has those tilts, like you said, has those the, the neutral and the up tilt, all those options can either take you out or they just do massive damage. Take away a lot of your neutral options. Good stuff. Gonna go for that high wolf flash of what gonna hit by that board smash. Gets hit by the, what is this spaghetti ass smash? Okay, that was fine, but I believe that up there should do him in. Yes, it will. Good stuff coming on to the Rick John. Yeah, and that's a great threat oh, shutdown for Benedictine. Yeah. Normally, Gamma Gold is one of the big carriers of stocks for Benedictine. He took nine week one. I mean, we can never forget that. Then took eight yeah. week two, three week three, week four, like no one played. 
uh, week five, <laughs> also, like, no one played, so don't even worry about it. But Gamble has man. always been one of those consistent players from Benedictine, definitely shown out and uh, helped out uh, for those for those few wins that Benedictine has managed to get. But, I mean, unfortunately, Benedictine is not only one in three, but, um, you know, uh, they, they've, they've just had a little trouble getting off their feet. Um, but... Gamma Gold uh, is normally a huge proponent of that. Rick John, normally not a huge contender here, but he just shut down one of the uh, one of the biggest aces in Benedictine's roster for Western Colorado. Great start for them. I have a feeling like all the Star Fox characters, they, um, I, I feel like they're amazing, except for Fox, believe it or not. I feel mm -hmm. like they're all in their own way. Uh, Fox can be. They're all good in crew battles because crew battles <laughs> so the bird in my ear just said i think fox is bad no that's not the case i think fox is bad in a crew battle sense and mm. online that's where i'm coming from because in crew battles in crew battles it's all about taking those stocks as fast as possible and living as much as you can fox can't do that really because you gotta be able to get the download insanely fast but online also limits how much combos you can do fucko you just yeah 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 yeah, yeah. get the up tilts get the neutralist go for spins and Wolf does a lot of damage on his own, plus you have the Reflector. You can lock down opponents with your combos, right? And they kill relatively at a good percent if they know their uh, percents and whatnot. So I feel like having Fox and Falco and, oh, I'm sorry, Wolf and Falco in a crew battle is really good. And the Rick John being able to take out Gamma Gold so early puts him in a really good spot for the rest of the CB. Monum's coming in for Benedictine this time to finish off this final stock from Rick John. He's played Sephiroth the entirety of this series. The Sephiroth versus Falco matchup, I feel like, is kind of in this, in, in weirdly enough, the same sort of vein as the Wolf matchup. Even though it's that one stock, Sephiroth, I feel like, can still fall to the same sorts of grievances that Falco has. The, the thing is, though, Sephiroth is very light, and so he can get carried out of those combos maybe a bit earlier, and so I feel like Rick John might have a little bit of trouble in that mid-game should he try and take that first stock. Yep. Not to mention, Sephiroth just does a lot of damage. I think he does a lot more damage than Falco oh, yeah. does. Being uh, literally a glass cannon, Sephiroth just has the moves to, you know, just do massive damage to you. Swing. And kill you at an ungodly percent. I've died to a Sephiroth at, like, 108 to, like, uh, an up smash, believe it or not. Uh, an up smash with Link, because he had wing, and it was on, like, not the top mm. platform, but, like, the very, like... Uh, the right side platform of Battlefield, and I was just like, no yeah. way, I'm gone. So, <laughs> if that was with Link, bro, Falco is gonna have to low key fight for his life. He wants to make this comeback happen. Plus, you have the comeback mechanic. Plus, like you said, he has that mid range, that long range action. Full air is just a giant don't touch me tool. Nair is a good out of shit option, has a great combo throw. So, Sephiroth is definitely the boss battle that Smash was not looking for, but it got in the long run. So, let's see how the Rick John deals with this. In a crew battle scenario as well, I think Sephiroth will do just fine. Monum definitely wants to take the stock and he wants to take it quickly, but even if he doesn't, he's going to be stuck on two or maybe one come next game, which means he's going to get his wing even faster. So yep. as Sephiroth starts to falter throughout the, the beginning portion of this crew battle, he will become even stronger as the end progresses. So Monum going to be looking for, for a lot of momentum to come out of this uh, of this second Crew battle, we'll see here. Oh, no. We have the second game of the crew battle, and uh, you know, I couldn't think of a of a better song to bring us into it. Oh, I I I I wish I was an Undertale fan, but someone ruined it for me, bro. They were just super annoying about it. But you know what? So I'm still bad. Like what? So as we were saying, right? Monum rocking that shirtless Sephiroth. You know, when you meet him at the end of FF7. I have played the game, one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, gets that forward throw. Good damage, but the wing should be coming. Um, but as I say um, that, it is just gone, gone, um, gone. That Sephiroth being the lightweight that we were talking about. One thing that I feel like I, I, I glanced over, it was in my mind, but I just didn't say it. Sephiroth, despite having a lot of range and a lot of kill power, has mediocre frame data. I don't think they have the framework to actually keep up with Falco's, you know, insane movement options and good, you know, uh, just the attacks come out really fast. Up tilt comes out mad fast. You're not dead, right? Oh. Yeah, can you, can oh, you wind geez. that back?
So, yeah, gets, gets, gets the back air. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's that's, take a that's... look at the instant replay. <laughs> Dog. I'd be so upset if I was either of these players, bro. Like, who do who, who do we look at first? Do you look at... <laughs> so let's look at the way the Rick John just got pineappled by Battlefield, which is something I've only seen happen, like... Like what, five I've times? I've that in fairy tales, bro. Holy. I've seen... I, I've There's seen literally a slanted icicle right there, and he just went... Yeah, I, I think that's like the one time you can get pineappled, and God said, yes, drag him right there. Oh just my like, God. Okay. <laughs> And then if hey. I was Monum, I'd be like, he couldn't have died first, really? Exactly. He, he, Monum he just still died first. first on that. Oh yeah. my god. If I had two stocks, I would take that. So, but no, I mean, I, there's no scenario where I'm sure either of these players are like, yeah, I'll take yeah. that. And it's like, really? What a on, on what a what a what a sour spot for us uh, on for baby both of those boy yeah. here. But um, yeah. oh, it's oh so sweet for us to watch for sure. Hey man, it's, that, so, was, <laughs> that was Western like, Colorado. Is going to be talk, uh, tossing in Mild Knights, who's been playing that Young Link, to finish off this final stock from Monum. Try and get this done quickly so that Sephiroth's wing is not too long-lasting. I think Young Link has, I guess, a solid shot at it. I just, kill as, power is where I feel like I draw the line with Young Link. That's where I kind of start fearing it. As as a Link man, I like this matchup. It's kind mm. of the same thing for uh, for Young Link as well. Because the, the thing with Sephiroth is, eventually, if you don't have any good projectiles, you've got to approach him, right? You have right. to come up with, you have to go up to him. And that's not something a lot of characters want to do unless you have, like, good frame data. Or you kill mad early. Even still, some characters that kill early just can't really deal with the amount of, like, pressure that Sephiroth has. Links, on the other hand, have pretty good frame data for, you know, the, the type of characters they are. They have good projectiles. Um, and you have to approach Sephiroth, but you're approaching them when they're in like a disadvantage state, right? Because like I said, the links and the young links and the two links, they're all about you get you get the boomerang, you get the bomb, and then you get the sword afterwards, and that will get you the kills that you're looking for. So if they can just get those kill setups and those kill confirms, then I think they'll be golden. But they do gotta worry about the wing because Sephiroth is a ticking time bomb. If you don't kill him before he has wing, or uh actually yeah, if you don't if, if you don't kill him before he has wing, um, you're just dealing with an amped up character that you cannot kill. He moves faster, he does a lot more damage, and all those moves will snowball into effect. But right now we're seeing a very aggressive Midnight coming on, rocking the fire arrows with the up air. Good stuff. My man has wing already. The game is like, you need help ASAP, dog, as this jungle has only 0%. Can they land any stocks right now? Really just like, oh, now? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, like, Young Link, oh my God, bro. Young Link has yeah. a lot of great get off me tools, but I, again, I, I feel like my greatest fear with this matchup, regardless of how quickly that Mile Knight can take care of it, because again, it's one stock. It's just that kill power that Young Link can sometimes struggle with. That get off me tool has to lead into something that can finish off the stock, and there's no standard Link Bomb to get that finisher. There's um, that up B doesn't have as much kill power as, as uh, other Link's up Bs do. It, it's, I will it's say, sort of, um, on, on this stage, I know what you're talking about. On this stage, right, even though you're right, uh, uh, Young Link's up, he doesn't have, like, any kill power, but dash kill setup, so you can get up mm, into up true. air, up B into, yeah, so, uh, you are correct. I'm so sorry to cut you off. You are correct, though. No, you're good. Dude, cut me off anytime you want, please. No, 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 I'm like, no, I was just like, because you were, you were, you were right. Everything you're saying Do is Do anything you true. want to me, Arthur. It's just that, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold up. But no, oh, it's so like, close. You, yeah, he was almost dead there. Can you get one? Oh, there we go. That's ah. covered. That that up smash is so. You just got so like non flashbacks for a second there, bro. I, it's, <laughs> it's that up smash is godlike. It's so annoying to deal with because it covers. Believe it or not, it's very active. As long as that sword is out and he's moving just a tiny bit, it's active. There's the uh, mega flare. Good stuff. Has the bombs. Look at the damage output he's putting on this young link right now. There is a lot. Can't get forward, bro. Has to watch out. Gets that Ooh. down and using those jumps with advantage. There it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that tilt on the edge of Kalos specifically is especially to it for sure. Yeah. Very well done there by uh, Mild Knight. Look, lost the stock along the way, but kept it nice and even. So WCU still has a two stock advantage on top of Benedictine right now. So now you got to start looking at who else they can bring in. You got Chief Galvin on that little Mac, of course. Chief um, Galvin, my guy, yep. 
You have Azu on the Sonic. Uh, you got Rayhan as well, who I'm not sure Ooh. if we've seen them actually just yet. Let me let me let me do a little do a little soul searching, looking around. Yeah, I don't think we've seen them actually from Benedictine so far. Yeah, we haven't. They are a new face to the Aces series. How exciting is that? We get to see somebody totally new, totally potentially new matchup against Mild Knights' final two stocks. That's actually incredible. I'm just doing research right now on like Youngling Cram meta because. Mm -hmm. I want to see, like, what's the best out of shield tool? Because he has a lot. Like, he has Nair. He has yeah, Upbeat out of shield. So, it could be Upbeat, but he also has back air. So, I'm trying to see what's good right now. Is short hop back air really that fast on Young Link? Oh, yes. Young Link. Uh, all the Jeez. links have really good uh, frame data. Young Link's frame data. I know there short hop, is. like, Nair is great for Link. He just uses Upbeat more often. <laughs> yes. Uh, let me see. Rayhan. Okay. Okay. That clears up nothing, Eon. <laughs> Young Link's back here comes solo. out on what do you, frame what? six. Oh, okay. <laughs> the bird, the bird in our ear, had to make sure that we pronounce Rayhan like Rayhan because a certain somebody was about to say Rayhan. <laughs> For the last maybe. time, it's not um, Rayhan. It's Rayhan's monster. That oh yeah. Listen, okay, we English is hard, okay. I barely got out. Of, hmm. I got out of a uh, high school, bro. I'm gonna, Let's I'm gonna see. keep it a fat sack. I'm <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think of fun youngling matchups to watch. Mm. I'm just looking. I at, like. I'm just. I'm just I, looking at matchup charts. That's not fun. He said the youngling ditto was fun. <laughs> <laughs> no way, bro. Um. Hmm. Agent of Chaos. Um, maybe I swear, like a, bro. maybe like a, like a, like a, like a sorty. I'm kind of feeling a sorty, like a, like a Martha yeah. Lucina. That'd be Young fun. Link versus Martha Lucina is fun to watch. Um, and it's kind of this really weird keep away game, but no yeah. one really has the advantage of it. Like, oh, I'm like gonna get Link, you. Ooh, yeah, I'm I feel like Lucina you. slightly edges out, but if Youngly plays it smart, like I've seen Skittles just absolutely wipe a lot of uh, sorties off the face of the earth with that character. Not to mention, Young Link has a lot of good movement tools. Really hard to catch if you utilize your B reverses and your wave bounces correctly. Um, Young Link is... Oh, I, I don't want to say he's underrated. It's just more of... I don't know how to describe it, because people know he's good, but not a lot of people play the character, if that makes sense. I feel like so. Young Link is one of those many characters, because there's a lot of them in Ultimate where he has a great kit, but there's another character that is better than him that does what he does better, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I it's like agree. Toon Link, because Toon Link is so much better. <laughs> they did that character so wrong. Like, it's funny because th there's like Adult Link versus like Young Link debates, but literally everyone's like, yo, Toon Link is... Well, Toon Link is over he's there. Not, <laughs> he's not bad, but just you you go sit down, bro. Mom mom and dad are talking, Sure, bro, buddy. Okay? You're so, great. You're so good. We love you still. We love you still. Just, just, just go. Just go. But, um... I feel like Young Link is one of the better, like, zoners in the game just because he has no end leg. Like, that character just does not get hit. Um, he's kind of like Joker in a sense where you can try to hit Young Link, but have fun. It's like swatting a... It's like trying to punch a fly. You try punching a fly, it just doesn't work out for you. All right, so... So why did it bring in Rayhan, the then? As in Han Solo. Oh, desperate wow. times call for desperate. Ma Ooh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. So <laughs> I've I've seen I've seen worse. I'll say this. <laughs> I've seen worse. Yeah. Um, worse. This matchup isn't awful for Bowser. Okay, who am I kidding? It's not good for him either. <laughs> um. <laughs> it, it's just more of. Bowser really just has to get in and suffocate Young Link, and that's not hard to yeah. do, actually. Bowser is really fast. What? I was just saying, like, I think that's the entire problem with Bowser's playstyle against Young Link, is Young Link kind of likes to be suffocated because when he gets out of suffocation, he kind of immediately counters it around them, stays close, launches a boomerang, couple forward aerials, and just carries them across the entire state. So I feel like yeah. Bowser is so prone to the reversal of whatever he ends up doing that it's so dangerous constantly, even though he has all that speed, all that power, all that potential control. That is true, but 
Bowser against an SSB said you're never really behind when you're fighting against when you're playing as Bowser. Of course. Um, because look at this. Even though he has 80%, look at that kill power. Bowser is just such a threat at no matter what percent you're at right now. That was actually got like playing the neutral slow, waiting for his chance to strike. And the moment he got that up tilt, Bowser just has probably some of the best kill power in the game, like for free. Absolutely for free. There's not a lot of uh, things that people can do to Bowser that Bowser can't do to you back. So now, Young Link has to play this behind game, and that's where he struggles. When Young Link is forced to play the game that he doesn't want to play, which is that I have to kill you fast, I gotta do it, I gotta do it, now you're in trouble. Because look at the damage about to be tacked on 47% to 66. It is damage that no one wants to be tacked on to, and that up smash will kill him ungodly early. That's why Bowser is the king of the people who need such a threat. God like taking it on from uh, Rayon. Do you guys remember when super heavyweights weren't viable like ever? Like, Leon made a top 8 at a major, and we were all yep. like, GUYS! WHAT?! <laughs> WHAT?! <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, I'll never forget the days of Smash 4 Bowser, dude. Did you play Smash 4 at all when you were, when, when you oh, were, Oh, absolutely! Like, it was, it was, it was my first Smash game that I actually owned. The first Smash game I knew about was Brawl that I played at friends' houses, but the first mm -hmm. game I actually played in Smash was Smash 4. Dude, Bowser and Smash 4, a couple patches into the game, was annoying but he was so fun mm -hmm. bowser had up throw into up there yep the bird of my ear mm -hmm. knows about that the koopa combo bro so what would happen is they would up throw oh, yeah. you it was that either a neutral air or an up air and that did ungodly damage bro mm -hmm. it was like low-key unfair and i think there was another one that they made his command grab better um fire did a lot more damage than it was supposed to oh yeah Fire did yeah, like it, 50 or something ridiculous. It did like, like it, that. it did like six six every time you got hit by it. So it's right. just like six twelve. And I'm like, it's like well, dude, that's not fair, but the game was like, <laughs> don't get hit. Um and then they made Charizard. Oh man, I miss Smash Boys Art. Oh, Rock yeah. Smash! Yeah, PT. Seven Seven's up for Rock Smash Boys. Give me back Rock Smash, bro. Give me back that Rock Smash. Oh, I gotta switch to that disadvantage. Nah, bro. Just press down B. Armor through that joint, get some damage on them as well. Oh, man. So, heavies have been a, a really, they have a really interesting history in Smash um, Smash 4 and Ultimate. And Brawl, they were god, they were awful. Eel Meal, ooh. Eel Meal, yeah. I, I, yeah. Who was that again? Um, I don't know who they play. So, Piranha Plant versus Bowser. I think I've seen this matchup. Actually, I'm going to be honest, I have not seen this matchup be played ever. Like, ever. So, this should be a new There's one. There's an insurgency in Bowser's castle. <laughs> yep. This is a Mario-ass match, bro. Looney Tunes. Leading the union. Was... Boss. Yeah. I'm tired. Actually, product plants a woman. <laughs> Boss, I'm tired of just moving in and out. Who says? Who says who? The scene is this horny. I mean, listen, okay. Sakurai said Piranha Plant was a woman. What you talking about? Did, did, did yeah. he? Yeah. I'm gonna need some reference. I'm gonna need some Canada, references. Baby. I'm gonna need some references on the Smash Wiki, the ah. Wikipedia page, or something, bro. Whoa. I feel like I'm getting played, but Piranha Plant Rule right? 34. I'm wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, hold up. <laughs> wait a second. All right, so Eel Mail, <laughs> Eel Mail versus. Oh, that is not. That's. Oh, it's not even. Okay. That is so. No, that is. That's a that's a woman, bro. That but, is um, <laughs> that's a whole that's woman. That, 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 ah. is, that is a hundred percent woman, bro. So, Samus versus Bowser. I talked about Young Link. How that matchup's not that bad. This matchup is cheeks. <laughs> this, this matchup is absolute cheeks. If you play it correctly, because right now, um, wow, just Rick, Rickon is just playing this. Really well. I said that right. I said that. Rayhan. Rayhan. I'm sorry. Rayhan. Like Han right. Solo. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Han so Solo. That's what Eon said. <laughs> Don't talk. <laughs> but so one thing I want to see um, Eomel use in this matchup, but I'm not seeing a lot of his Samus's grab. Samus's grab. Lord have mercy. And validates Bowser as a character. Because when you get True. dragged, you go for uh, for up air ladder. You can go for up B out of shield whenever you want to. Down throw into Nair, down throw into back air is a lot easier to hit on Bowser because he's such a big body character. But we're not seeing them use a lot of it. They're really just going for more of these, you know, up B's and these neutral areas. Yeah. That force smash, that godlike drop kick, just to take out that stock before you can even say anything at 100% as well. Bro, that move is so strong. One of the strongest force smashes in the game. 
I'm trying to think against Bowser, how late do Zare Chains start working? Because I feel like Tough Guy could work against the Zare Chains for a second. Ooh! I, Sorry. I don't think Zare Chains, I don't think Zare Chain works on Bowser because it's not like a rapid hit. Tough Guy only works mm -hmm. if it's like rapid. Oh, uh, okay. By the way. Yeah, Word. so Zare would just like poke him. Awesome. Whoa! What? Lord. Hold on a second. Oh. Yeah! The that was back here 70? Baby. Town and city, that tiny blast Jesus. zone, that, that small blast zone as well. Yeah, that's dead. That move is strong on its own, so combine that with being near the ledge and having those small blast zones. And yeah, there's no way Samus lives that up throw. I'm not gonna do it. Loki getting desperate for the kill. Uh, right now, Benedictine is just taking names right now. They are moving and moving right now on the competition, so that's not gonna do it either. Up there will not kill him. Yep. Yeah, not Mayhan's only feeling this. comfortable. He, he's brought not only the, the tie, but the lead back here for Benedictine. Yep. They start this off on a deficit, and Rayhan will finally lose his first stock, but, I mean, such a great gap has been made. The, the tables really have been turned in Western Colorado. They're about to lose their third player. Yep, and Bowser is just a momentum-based character, right? When Bowser has the Daladon on you, when Bowser knows your hat. Look at that! Look at the pause into the up smash! My man was confident! That is confidence right there! Ton in the up smash, knew he had the lead necessary, and just took him out without any hesitation. That's what we're looking for. In a crew battle, that is what you're looking for. Godlike play coming on from Ray Hong, bro. God, Proclaim I love Proclaim it to the heavens, bro. Proclaim yeah. it to the heavens, Rayhan. He's still sitting pretty with two stocks. And WCU has only got Boosh. two players left. I got to look at this roster and see what they got left in their pocket. Because it ain't much at this point. Although, yeah, man. they still got bolts on that man, man. That is what I fear more than anything else among mankind. And you can tell they're playing on Deegster's Switch as well. So I feel like Deegster's probably waiting in the background ready to come out on that Wario as well. So, still yep. some great tools in WCU's kit, but man, Rayhan has brought it back. Bowser is one of my favorite characters to watch in crew battles. Oh, just, yeah. Not even just crew battles. In general, Bowser is just, just such Smash, a cool yeah. character. I love Bowser as a character because I love Mario and Bowser. Bowser's a good guy. He's yeah, he's he's, he's done some things. He's he's a good dad. Good good guy. Plays golf when he needs to. Marriage. Car races you know, when he's down to yeah. Steals uh, people's stars in Mario Party when he has to. So Bowser's just an overall great guy. But Bowser in Smash is just so dope because, yes, you get comboed easily. Yes, you take a lot of damage, unnecessary damage sometimes even. But Bowser is, it's a, it's a story for assistance, right? Download your opponent, get the reads, and Bowser is rewarded for knowing your opponent's habits and knowing when to strike. That's what makes that character. Loki, mm, I think Bowser's good. I think Bowser's like huh. somewhere uh, in like, oh... Bowser's like somewhere in like bottom of high tier or I was middle thinking, of high I was tier. High or mid -tier. Top of mid -tier. Yeah, yeah uh, high -tier. something like that works too, but Bolts is next. Oh boy. Bowser oh boy. versus Min Min. I talk about <laughs> Bowser's praises. This is hard. This is gonna be the so... Yeah, his, his matchup is definitely a bit strange. Um, that being said, Bolts is kind of relegated to, to lesser things, I think, for a lot of this matchup. That Ram Ram, I think, is not going to have nearly as much effect as it does with other characters in a lot of these uh, in a lot of these sorts of clashes. So yep. I think that Bolts will be kept to either the Dragon or the Megawatt, which I think will be definitely helpful for slowing down the beginning of that game so that Rayhan can find that early damage and hopefully at least one stock. So I don't think Rayhan is completely out of the water. But Min Min is Min Min is Min Min is Min Min is Min Min. And we all know how that goes, no matter who Min Min really faces. I mean, she is just that one character that I think will always be asking questions about. And they will always be answered, but very regretfully. Yeah, I think Min Min has a couple bad matchups. Like, I think Mayo does well mm -hmm. against Min Min. Go! I think Fox does. I think Wolf does. I think Cloud does great against that character. Um, the thing is, I think Yoshi does well as well. You gotta have really good horizontal movement and active hitboxes. Uh, that, okay. Yeah, so no Min Min. Bolts is on the Joker instead, and uh, Rayhawk found 53% on it. That 58. makes... That makes... That, that makes this guy's life 8 billion times easier. Yeah. Bowser... I, I, Bowser still might suffer versus Joker a bit, but not as much as Min Min does. Like, not even close to as much as my man. Yeah, I'll eat the bullets. I'll eat them. Delicious, scrumptious, baby. Rayhan's okay, so, just okay. waiting out our stand. That's such a power move, dude. 
damage to Bowser doesn't mean much. For a lot of characters, it means the world, but not... Oh. Okay. Oh! That, that, that sucks. That, Dude, that sucks. Rayhan is feeling himself right now, too. He's like, hell yeah, you just SD'd. Yep. You didn't I made kill me and you self-destructed? That's weak. Because I thought he was going to die to a get-up attack that he did. And we're seeing some decent gun movement coming on from uh, Bolts, but... Dude, just the amount of confidence that my man Rayhan has is absolutely ridiculous. Gonna have that grab, yep, up throw, gonna put him the spines on him, trying to read the jump or the air dodge or something. Once the up smash, that will reach that platform, you better believe. Counter near the ledge, and to get that two frame down to the instead. He's gonna wait out Arsene. I start going for fire breath slow key if I was Rayhan. Just get oh, that yeah. Arsene out of there. Because the more damage uh, Joker takes, the less uh, time Arsene has to do anything. Go to air dodge, but gonna get hit by the egg on. Good stuff. Rolls near the ledge. There's that neutral air coming in clutch. Arsene is about to say goodbye. Gets hit by the egg on again. So now that Arsene is gone. Yeah. Ooh, just in time as well. Good stuff. Oh, no, that's no. great. Full reset now. I don't know what you're calling. Full reset at this point for uh, for Arsene to come on the line. Full reset for this stock. So no rage Woo! induced. That's not going to be a finisher just yet. It's not on top of the platform. But no, you can tell how in the heads of WCU Rayhan is right now by the amount of stall and falls he's getting away with. That's how I tend to gauge how how psychologically ahead a, a player is, is how often they get away with stall and fall attacks and are punished yes. for them. And Bowser has two, and Rayhan has been using both of them. Yeah, and it's so good, right? Those Tom like another Tomahawk grab. Not gonna get the kill just quite yet, but that's where our Sam is here. Down throw into up smash. That will kill on Bowser. Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. He said he cares. I don't. Because down air into up smash is like a godlike combo that Joker oh, yeah. had with Arsene. Uh, my man Rayhan just said, that's crazy. I'll just up air and you're gone. And <laughs> Yo, that down air was crazy. Okay, okay. I was about to say, if, if he somehow lived that forward smash, I am about to say, this game is even. But <laughs> the amount of stocks that Bolts lost to that Bowser was insane. Losing two stocks in the process... And as of right now, um, Rickon will definitely be the MVP um, for their school right now. Because that's, yikes, they, they they did some work. They did some work. Bolts down to just one stock. Benedictine now down to their final two players. They still got Galvin in the pocket, Azu, and Deez as well. And Rayhan definitely going to keep watching out for him. As we enter the the following weeks, Rayhan actually okay yeah so Rayhan was in week five and took five stocks with him in Benedictine's last bout, but that's all we had seen from him other than tonight, which uh you know that's that's two great performances under your belt for sure. Now Bolts mm -hmm. has one stock left up against the fourth member of Benedictine that should be coming in in just a moment, but you're on that one stock for Joker, so again. You have your comeback mechanic. You have Arsene coming in mega, mega quickly. So this is that this is that final battle. And we have another new player, Smackjaw, Eon? Ooh. Smack job. Smack job. Okay. Have we seen them before? I don't I don't think, think so. Alright, so new blood is always welcome. Mm -hmm. We'll take it. And with Joker, you can kind of send in anybody. Well not anybody, right? Don't don't send out Gideon Orphan to listen. Just don't. <laughs> I see people try to make it work. It never goes well. Do no, but he has a big Canada. smash attack. He go Dory. I'll do 40%. Oh, you're right. Oh, my, my fault. My fault, OG. You're Easy right. game for me when I go to online smash. I'm telling you, I see Ganondorf <laughs> in a crew battle. I'm just like, mm, you're stupid. No. Yeah, but did you stupid. know if you B-reverse Warlock punch, it insta-kills Arbiter? Did you know that? It insta-kills? Not it really. It really kills. kills you. Warlock punch low-key kills at like... It kills 40. too late. It kills too late. It kills for, for what that move is. It kills at like 30% if you get the proper hit. It's just like, really? If I land that, you should be mega super triple dead, bro. I don't care. <laughs> it like winds up for like a bajillion years. It's the worst neutral B in the game free. So it takes three seconds to charge up should immediately kill you. Yep. Like that's, that's the same saying. type that like that's the item you have on, on like when you hold it above you, like the bomb that you hold above you in item smash that instantly yep. kills or does an explosion yeah. or whatever. The bomb, it, the bomb. It's just yeah, that, but a move. It's like why They did the Zelda characters so wrong in, in Smash. They did Link wrong, they did Ganondorf wrong. They could have done Zelda a bit better. <laughs> Young Link was done 
awfully... You know who the most accurate Zelda character is in Smash? It's Toon Link, and that sucks. Toon Link is the, like, is the most accurate Smash character because yeah. everything that he has in that toolkit comes from Wind Waker. And it works. Just, you can leave that there. Young Link has a mask. Link should have had all his stuff from Breath of the Wild. Ganondorf should, you know, have stuff. Should not be Captain Falcon times eight. It's so, like, what? what? Eon. <laughs> Eon, our pro, just sent me this. Is this just a copy pasta? Oh, my God. Now, I have been using Ganondorf against my brother lately, and he cannot seem to beat me. We think we know why, and we think it put Ganon at the top of the tiers. I will be brief. <laughs> Ganondorf has his air forward. We call it the punch. It has the that punch. special hitbox, like a sword. Hence, it goes right through anything except an attack with that same kind of hitbox. It does 17% max, is relatively fast executing, has basically instant recovery on a barrier cancel, and is quite... Oh, this is a British guy, because he's a barrier... And it's quite massive, killing at rather low percentages. If he misses, he can just do his eight punch if the opponent tries to retaliate or shield slash roll. I am the telling you, Ganondorf punch. is a crazy meat mountain who crushes bones with many attacks doing 15 plus percent, survives to insane damages thanks to his weight, and has ridiculous horizontal recovery. So yeah, Ganondorf is busted. Why are you playing Aegis then, Smack Job? Exactly, bro. Where's Ganondorf? Ganondorf is dead. He has air punch. Exactly. He's low key throwing. <laughs> The fact that he's not playing Gunnar for me, he's throwing. Like, he doesn't want his team to Literally. win. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? But, this is good. I think Aegis is also a character that you can never go wrong with. Uh, has some of the best tools in the game in terms of, like, what's it called? Frame data, and Pyra has insane kill power for some reason. So, yeah, this character is really good. So, I'm looking forward to see how they are going to be able to, you know, deal with this Joker. Because the problem with the thing that makes Joker also really busted is that he has no hurt box. Joker does not. For the life of me, just will not get hit. Can't explain it. Um, Try, I'm just imagining someone having like a, <laughs> like some sort of gif of like a an anime convention or something, and it's over. It's just like a Smash 2022. <laughs> this will be it's Smash 2022, bro. <laughs> it's just two it's memes so fighting. This is it. Oh wow! Only 33 percent. That killed quick. Bolts. Jeez. Yeah, Arsen. Arsen does that to people. Arsen could kill me quick if you like to. Not me, I have a life to live. Actually, what am I kidding? <laughs> no, I don't. Can you so good? <laughs> nah, what am I kidding? And it's really good to have Arsen, especially because you have, like, Mithra as well. Because Mithra isn't that heavy. Well, for Pyra goes for the Switch. Here we go. Now, trying to get that really early kill, and... Wow. Ah! 80. Oh, wow. Ah! I... I knew they killed early, but... No! That Christ should not a... be here! Christ on a bike. That should not that exist! Like... I don't know what? if that DI was wrong or what, but... They didn't even yeah, stick around for the full hitbox to that! D damn. It wasn't even around the whole time! Look at this! He leaves early! We paid for a beta. I will say that. I will take that to my grave. We paid a hundred plus dollars for a beta, bro. Ah! Yep. 89%, you you're dead. You're dead. Yep, you're dead. You're just dead. Pull the platform! Mm -mm. That should not that, that should not Ooh, do that. <laughs> that platform should not make you die at an ungodly number like no, that. No, you guys, Pyro up he kills at 60 on platform in small battlefield. Actually, now that I say it out loud, it does sound <laughs> it, it, it just did! <laughs> it literally just did that for some ungodly reason, but you know what they say. You just gotta, right. you just gotta hold that. Well, Western Colorado has got one more player up their sleeve, but who is it going to be? My guess is Deegster, because it's still his switch, and he hasn't he hasn't jumped into the ring yet, which means we could see a Wario versus Aegis. That could be possible, so mm -hmm. trying to think, who would be the best character in this scenario? I'm trying to think, maybe... Against Aegis? Great, great, great question. I think Wario should, does fine. We've seen um, Gluttony do... Wonderful things to that character, so of course. Royal could be fine. Who else is available though? That's the question. Um It is yep. Dexter, so it will All be right. that Wario. Yeah. Okay. I it's feasible, I guess. Just uh, the early part of it is gonna be the hardest part to watch for me, because I feel like the Mithra versus Wario matchup is kind of hell. I feel like the Pyro matchup, Wario's fine. I don't think it's that terrible, actually. I think uh um, You think? Mithra's Nair is huge, but I think War 
the thing about what that makes Wario busted is that Wario's uh, Nair is insanely broken. That Nair is bro broken. It's active for like 15 years. Mm -hmm. Um, It combos twice. into like a lot of stuff. Yeah, it hits like, not even twice. As long as his belly is like active, it, it, it's it's wing, it's a, it's a wing, moving hitbox, yeah. Yeah. Also has great a great uh, area movement, has a great uh, horizontal movement on his, on his jumps. Yeah, Wario's air, air acceleration kind of goes dummy on that now. For, for like, a big character, it's like, bro, dog, why? This dude's just floating. Like, stop it, please. Yeah. It's, a, it's obnoxious. So, every time I fight Wario, I'm just like, yep, I gotta deal with this. Oh, ah. that's, a, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Eon, how <laughs> long do you think of these jokes? It feels like you have them ready. Man, it's clever, bro. It's just clever. But here we go. Potentially the last game for Western Colorado right now. Gonna live off of a prayer right now. Hopefully the Pi the Aegis, Pyra, and Mithra can be able to make this comeback for Western Colorado or else the Magic team will be the winner of this game right now. So let's see what the move's gonna be. Hey, check out this bike. Check out that. Yeah. <laughs> check out that. Oh, look at hey, my bike, hey, is, bro. Mithra, come, come check out this bike. My boy, this <laughs> no. So I think Smack Job is doing a solid starting job of, uh, of sort of zoning things out, but Deekster. I think it's been just been doing a better job of, of you know, Smack Drop comes in, finds a hit or two, and then Deekster was like, oh, that's, oh, okay, yeah. And then he gets out and then throws a couple of disjointed aerials, maybe a bike if he's got it, and then kind of stays in that area for a little too long for Smack Drop to really deal with, and too much damage comes out because of it. You need to swap, like, oh, yeah, that's it. Ooh, too late. And that taunt as well, bro. I think even Western call. I think Benedict team knows. They're like, yeah, we're in our bag right now. After Rick, Rick uh, Han just did so much for the crew right now. They're in such a strong lead. So let's see. I don't. Okay, listen. I've seen Aegis do some pretty crazy things. I've seen it. But yeah. right about now, I don't know if it's possible for them to make this comeback. It's going to be difficult. I mean, it just feels like this matchup is having such a hard time getting inside. That's really it. It just feels like he, he's kind of staring at this match through a window at the moment rather than actually playing it. And and Deegster is kind of going full throttle only when necessary, rushing in, and then kind of waiting for the match to pick up again. It, it, it's this staircase that he's reaching towards. Early waft, doesn't land. That probably could have killed off the edge, honestly. Yep. At that charge, 100%. Oh, they went for it. They, they went for it. Oh, uh, I feel a little bit of desperation come out. Good stuff down there into that four tilt. You're dead, GG. Chip the hand. Yeah, that's over. Yep. Oh, yeah, bye bye. Yep. And, well, there you have it. Four to three. Benedictine takes it over Western Color. Wait. Nope. No. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot that uh the scores were mixed. I saw the numbers. I saw the numbers. So. Mm -hmm. Now this could potentially be the last game. Yeah, no, this it's could three be the three. last game. This is it? Yep. This, this, this best of one is gonna dictate what ends up happening. Deister is still on uh, at a hundred percent here, and you got one more member from uh, from Benedictine. We've seen two new faces in a row. Could we see yet another? It's got to perform big. Now let's let's talk about Almighty Ooh. Amen. Well, I mean, let's take a couple guesses. Let's talk about Wario matchups real quick, Arbiter. What do you think of Wario matchups? Wario does struggle against projectile zoners, like mm -hmm. Richter. Personally, as Linkman, I think that Link beats Wario, mm -hmm. um, or slightly edges him out. Rob mm -hmm. could be fine. <laughs> you know what I think about that character. Um, a Swordy would definitely work, right? Lucina, mm -hmm. Ike could be fine. Uh, Mark Shulk. even. Shulk, oh, Shulk for sure would do Godlike because he has a movement to keep uh, Wario mm -hmm. out of bay. Um, there are some options. Bowser, if you have a good out of shield option. Wario's a really weird character. That character is kind of hard to play as. Like people, I, I, I played my friend. He's like, I want to pick up Wario. Gluttony makes him look so cool. And they were blowing cheeks with him because yeah. Wario has such an interesting neutral that's not normal. Wario has the most viable jank I think we've ever seen in Smash Ultimate. Just very strange disjoints. Like you talk about weird hitboxes, but you don't talk about Wario because it feels like he's in his own sort of box when it comes to weird hitboxes those aerials yeah. and especially those smash attacks they're just they're very strange and they don't feel unfair they just feel weird yeah like the da dash, dash attack feels unfair though dash attack feels unfair it's a really good dash attack it crosses up for some reason it gets the kills 
Well, the move that Wario has that I find obnoxious besides the neutral air is probably his, like, his up air is kind of... Mm, not even true. up air. It's like... I'm trying to think, because he has a lot. His down, down tilt, and up tilt as well. Yeah, down tilt... Down Amon. tilt has Almighty any Amon. active friends. Almighty Almond. Okay, so who, do you know who they play? Or... No. All right, Guess then. we'll find out. Woo. Guess we have to see. Please be someone cool. Like, can it be a Link Let's be Let it be a Link main. Come on. Come on. Yeah. You only got main. like one or two Links in this series, don't we, Arbiter? You're you're kind of running dry. Uh, we're running dry on Links, period. People are realizing that, wait, this character this character's mid. This character. Hey, to be fair, I don't see... It's, I don't see too That's many not puffs the or same. I don't see too many puffs or pikas in this series either. So maybe both you and I need to go find something else to comment. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. The all the characters I wish were good, besides Cloud and Joker and Byleth, are not the actually Byleth is. I think people are trying to find out that Byleth is actually a fraud, just kind of carried by Leo. But it is Byleth has me. four moves. Byleth well, does have four moves. There, dash attack and forward air and up B. Oh yeah, up tilt. You know five. We'll take five. Yeah. Yeah, five. Okay, so. Banjo, Banjo is... Hmm. This, this can work. This can work. Yeah, it can absolutely can... work. Yeah. Because Banjo's jank, I feel like, is also kind of slept on just because Banjo's kind of bad. That back air is pretty disjointed, and also, of course, the grenade is... Uh, it goes kind of dummy if you play your cards right. Ooh. Yeah, you're, you are indeed correct, but not going to get anything they were looking for. I was thinking of maybe a Wonder Wing, but mm -hmm. right now, good lord, d is just making this comeback happen. Good almighty so. Oh. Is all the work that Rayhan did about to be in vain? I don't want to say so, but the way that d is playing, and they're in the lead right now, you never want to give Wario a lead. Wario is good lead behind, but give him a lead, and they're just playing a game that no one wants to deal with. These Wonder Wings need to go crazy here for Almighty yeah. Elmon. He needs to pull him out like ASAP too. 144, and he's still got four of them, like... He, he's got to be a little more liberal with it, but at the same time, he can't get punished off of him. We hit on the dash attack. Won't finish off the first stock just yet. Wonder Wing is good. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. He almost got away with That's it. That's so tragic. Wonder Wing is good when you know your opponent wants to retaliate when you're trying to recover or if they're throwing out like a projectile or something like that and you're close. That's when you use it, but I feel like Wario doesn't have a lot of windows for Wonder Wing to work, if that makes sense. Awesome. Yeah. God, like, damn's going on from Deekster. Oh yeah, 50% here. You can see, Deekster also has so much control over the stage. That's all on the bike, shit! That oh, was God. Cool. That was actually cool. But now, moving back and forth, not still Wonder Wing. What? What? Oh, they end up eating the grenade, yeah. Oh. So they did down me. That's better than eating oh. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not gonna talk about the number he died at. That's, that's just normal. I hate to say it. That is Wario things. That is just a Wario things, bro. I'm just, so you know, the... <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to. I'm. Who gonna tell him? Oh. I'm not gonna. Oh, Deekster, don't do it to him. I'm Dude, these teams are it. starting today off disrespectful. They're filled to the brim with this energy. And that's good, because Western Colorado, hey, after they take this one, which, you know, maybe they won't win it, they still got another crew battle to play after this. <laughs> and it, it's against Montgomery County Community College, one of the undefeated uh, teams from the series. All right, Deister's going to SD once. He tried to, you know, he knows he's on stream. <laughs> he, want, he wants that Twitter clip. Okay, back or you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. off the other side. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. All right. So Western Colorado will take the dub over Benedictine College. So that'll put Benedictine at one and four and Western Colorado back in the positive up to three and two record. Well done by both teams. Benedictine so showed some really great new faces for sure. But uh, Deekster was able to get that final shutdown and and, uh, and take a game home for Benedictine. Yep, and what a way to make a comeback, right? Taking, they, they only, if we're to be real, they only lost like one stock. Right, they only lost one stock yep. that whole CB. Um, taking out six, was it six? I feel like no, it was uh, five. five. They, took, they took out five uh, stocks because I think um, the Pyra, the Pyra meant they lost one uh, previously. Yep. But you are hey, man, right. that is fine. There is nothing wrong with that. They did their job. They did their work. And hey, man, Western Colorado making the comeback happen. Benedictine gonna have to go back to the drawing board, unfortunately.
When we come back, an interview with one of the Western Colorado players before they enter their next crew battle. Don't go anywhere. Has esports been your dream? Philly Esports is where your career begins. Monthly tournaments. Variety of esports titles. An active Discord community. High quality broadcasts. Their shot won't hit anything. Oh. It doesn't matter when the other two members are there for the follow up. Full focus taking the first two maps. Video recaps of every event. Start your journey today. PhillyEsports.gg Snake is really good, you guys. I don't know if you understand this. Snake is a pretty cool character. He's pretty nuts. Oh, is that a trade out? Yeah, that's <laughs> 126. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. I yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. the moral of the story. Like it, it like it still does the job that Falco needs it to do. It's just not oh more hits. Yeah. More time. No time! No time! Whenever she's, you know, wants to get into the air, wants to get her game plan going and with them what? as well, but maybe looking for a little something cheeky at the ledge. There, oh, oh, this is gonna be a scary situation. Ah! There it is, the pair, and that should be MC3 it. on the verge of staying undefeated. What a climb back, and what a way to potentially finish. That down tilt immediately, but great DI on that down tilt. Oh. Just the gentleman to send off stage. And just, oh, the wow. Bob Luigi. Yep, just keep throwing him off stage and see what you can do. We saw, oh, not quite. Once again, the edge guards just coming in off the bat. F smash to close it out. So very powerful, very dangerous, and oh, that's some great denial there! You know, to follow along in the air. Oh, that shield that was great. from one trainer. That, that's what we've been seeing, just punish after punish, and oh, almost fighting oh, it, but oh. pretty happy as Mega Man. You know, you're not gonna be dying oh. too early and oh, the... You already know who it is. Welcome back to the Collegiate Aces series. My name is Arbiter, and today I'm going to be interviewing probably one of the nastiest Warriors I have ever seen, Deekster. Deekster, how you feeling, bro? What's going on with you? I'm feeling kind of shaky. Really excited. Really glad we could pull through. Um, I'm just glad our team was able to show up today. Yeah, and first of all, I, I got to say this before I, I say anything else. Congratulations. Now, let's talk, right? You ran through two people, all right? Mm -hmm. Uno and Dos, you ran through two people to make this comeback happen. What was the energy feeling like 
you know, for your team before you came in? What was the energy like? And how did you manage to bring that back, even though it looked like defeat was inevitable? Well, uh, kind of before this game, we had gone through a lot of reschedules, so we we're kind of a little antsy because we haven't played in a bit. So we we're really hyped coming into this game, all right? So we go, we get uh, Rick in there with Falco. He's popping off. Yep. We're really hyped. We're just so excited. And then we keep going through. Soon we're even, and then we're behind a little bit. And then Bolt goes in. He yep. loses his stocks, loses, unfortunately, to bad DI. And yeah, then I'm just sitting it. there, just kind of like, you just have that moment of realization where it's just kind of like, oh, I got to zone in right now. Just remember yeah. what I've done. I know I can do this. This is what I've been practicing for. And then just go in and, and mess yep. them up, you know? Yeah, and... I'm telling you, the way you were playing was absolutely insane, right? You got every combo you needed, right? Um, what do you think about Wario as a character, right? Why Wario, first of all? And what makes Wario such a character that you, you like playing? And how do you how do you use this character to make these comeback, uh, comebacks happen? Well, uh, off that first question, why Wario? I guess all of my characters, I usually gravitate towards if they're funny. Like, mm -hmm. if they're just some <laughs> weird, wacky character. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I play Wario, and my secondaries are K. Rule Hero. So, yeah, just the funny, screaming Hero. people. Yep, yep. I and love so, uh, I just kind of gravitated towards Wario. I didn't play Smash 4 too competitively, but I played him a bit there. And then he just got such a glow up in this game. I'm yeah. like, oh, uh, I've seen what Gluttony can do. He's a pretty big inspiration. So, I was just like, let's try to take this character all the way. And,. Uh, he's good enough, even after the nerfs, I don't think those are too bad, where yeah. he can still pull something through. Like, he's not super meta prevalent right now, but he can still, he's still strong enough to catch people off guard and just kind of capitalize off of that uh, human aspect of the game rather than just exactly. straight up matchups. Exactly, right? You, you People panic, right? When you get yeah. hit by a Wario combo, people's like, oh god, they start pressing bones, you're just like, oh, can't do that, Put on them, and then they die, you're just like... Take the hand. You got to take that. And exactly. I, I was just watching you play, and you play really reserved, right? You're not mm -hmm. going for anything too crazy until that last game where you were going for like, the bite off stage. I was like, you know what? Oh. He knows. <laughs> he, he has a, a two stock lead or three stock lead. He has the right to go for those. But um, you play really reserved. You play really well, uh, well too. Um, what? How did you guys practice, right? How did you guys practice going into this battle? Did you have any worries beforehand? Like, what was you guys' mindset before this match even started? Oh, uh, well, kind of with practice, it all really gets strengthened with Bolt's present. So, yep. presence, uh, we've kind of really been going hard with these practices. So, we did a lot of VOD review. Uh, yep. I did some individual VOD review, but Bolt does a VOD review and takes notes. And before... Yeah, he told me that, yeah. Yeah. Before practice, each week, he sits us down and we go over the notes. And he says what he's written down, and we add in little things that we can think about during the match. And then we put that into our gameplay when we're actually practicing. And so we kind of, after each game, talk about what went wrong and what we can improve upon. So that's kind of led to, I feel like, a more patient play style within our whole team. And especially when you're playing against a Min Min for most of practice, especially yeah. as a stubby character like Wario, I got to learn yeah. how to be patient and just not get hit. Exactly, man. And obviously that training has definitely paid off. And before we let you go, do you have any shout outs to like either your team or is anyone you want to shout out anything, any parting words you want to say before we head, we head off? Uh, I do definitely want to shout out my team because uh, yes, just sir. a couple weeks ago, we the were so... Still... Yeah, I mean, the the team's where it's at, man. I wouldn't be here without all of them. And we've really been putting in the work. Like, I can tell just off this game that everybody else has been kind of... They have that drive to get better. Yep. And so yep. I'm just glad we can all pull together. Bolt is the team captain. He's really kind of turned it around to where everybody's just super hyped and ready to just get better. Exactly, man. And if I'm not mistaken, you guys have another match after this, right? Yep. I'm pretty oh, sure the wow. next match against MCU. So mm -hmm. it should be exciting. Yeah. 
that's gonna be a good match but hey man i'll leave you guys to it you guys get to the notes i'm looking forward to watching you guys i am a fan of you guys obviously now so good luck and um hopefully you guys have a good match thank you so much for coming over deekster all right thank you no problem man well good stuff coming on they're such nice people everyone i've met from there is so nice for no absolute reason it makes it makes me it makes me want to root for them a lot more than like anybody else so but people do not go anywhere we're gonna have a godlike match coming up soon now don't go anywhere